Well, the indication spectrum of ion therapy is really in flux. It is constantly expanding. And what we can say is that we have some established indications. Established indications are, for example, in the children uh, where it's vital importance to spare normal tissues um, that are still developing, for example, in brain tumors uh, or in certain types of sarcomas. We also have in the adults the established indication of tumors along the skull base, along the spine, uh, where they are very difficult to treat because critical structures like brain stem, spinal cord are right next to it. Uh, we have other established indications, in part it is prostate cancer, but also the issue of re-irradiation, meaning you know, a patient has received conventional radiation, um, has failed that, tumor comes back, and now um, you know, this tumor would require another course of radiation, and it's often very difficult to give with conventional radiation. Um, but beyond that, the indication spectrum is constantly expanding on an international scale. Uh, we have now in the U.S., in Japan, we're treating routinely lung cancer, we're treating routinely, for example, left-sided breast cancer, um, head and neck irradiation, liver cell tumors, pancreas. Uh, all these uh, indications are constantly uh, evolving. And right now, as well as over the coming years, we expect some very important data coming in from clinical studies that will further prove and further to find the subgroup of patients that will benefit most of uh, from uh, the particle therapy, either protons or carbon ions.